Mike, Mike, check. First time on the Surface Pro. Independent without Ocho. Shout out to Ocho. What's up, man? Just trying to see if this thing works. How does this work? Elevated TV. Looking for Ocho. Quick smoke. Looks like we're up and running. 25 seconds into it. I figured it out. This is a test. What's up, Rick R? Cheers. Oh, that's right. I caught you for five minutes. <coughs> You're 420 over there in <coughs> New Mexico. Right on. We'll share a couple of minutes. I'm just working with this uh, this uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Hopefully we look clear. Not too clear because you see my ugly fucking mug. But shout out for just checking me out real quick. This is guys, guys here real quick. Let's show you this. Uh, I got uh, I gotta do an unboxing for this. This is a Puffco Puffco Plus bait pen. Yo, perfectly clear as a motherfucker, huh? It's amazing what new technology will do, bud. How you doing, man? Thank you for stopping into this. I'm just over here fucking around in the garage, bored, and got a lot of fucking shit that I want to fucking put out there. This is one of them. Let's see what we got in here. I'll do another. Uh, yup, cleaning plants and watering might hang up brand new light. Reduce price, cheap light. Fuck it, man. As long as you get high in the end, I think that's all that really matters. You could you could probably say that was a that was a mission accomplished, right? You know that. Hey man, thanks for the thumbs up. I know maybe one of you two guys probably did that. I really appreciate it. Two minutes in it, two, three minutes into it. Trip out. Here's the Puff Code Plus. Uh, hell yeah. Teach. It's crazy. Doing good. You know, yeah. Oh, I'm in reverse. How do I fix that? Mirror image. Shit. Huh? How do I fix that? How do I fix that? Am I in reverse? You guys seen it backwards? Or is it just on my end? I'm glad you guys are here to help me check this out. Get out what you put in. Tip on electric. Cool. Mm. All right, all right. Check it out. This is the man. This is fucking shit right here, guys. This is the shit right here, my friends. So fucking the dab pen, pretty much. I guess uh, Puffco really changed the game. I haven't used it. I'm itching to. It's nice and heavy. Yeah. Let's see. Hold it. Might have to charge it. I think I might have to charge it. It's sick as fuck. Yeah, you could read it. Yeah, there's a way for me to make it reverse from my side. Unused. You put your fucking wax on here. This is how they change the game. You put your wax on that little deal, right? And then all you do is you put it in the pen and then toke it off like that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. They have settings, I think. Yeah. I have to take the thing out. Anyways, man, it was just a little quick, quick hit, making sure I could do lives off this. Uh, Ocho, I'm putting an APB out for Ocho. 
Hopefully you see this sooner than later. Hope all's well, you know. Yeah, this thing is sick, man. And then I also got um, a replacement chamber. Because those chambers will go down on you, right? A replacement chamber. Uh, and it's the same color as the... It's got that tie-dye. They're like a... Not tie-dye. A color-changing pattern. You know? That's pretty cool. I've had this for months, man, and i just been hanging on to it. Uh, maybe I should make like an official video. I'll probably try to do that. But I'm really itching just to fucking pack it and smoke. You know? You know, you two guys, thank you for stopping by, man. I mean, it's always nice when someone's around when you're going to do something. Yeah. These are the... They call them darts. And then they're like, this is the replaceable piece. You put your dab on that. You put your dab on that when it's inside the pen. That little piece holds your wax and just melts it into the into the pen. I got this pen for like, I think it was 120 bucks. Puffco pen. I really want to get a Puffco peak. I don't have to get one personally for myself because my one of my daughters has one. She has a Puffco peak and it's pretty dope. I mean, they're very expensive. It's $2.99 or $3.99 for some custom ones. But, uh, I went for the cheap cheap entry. Let me show you that one more time. I'm just going to sign off real quick, guys. Probably going to try to go live later and see if I can sign line, line some up. Maybe with Jay's Brabbit. Anybody out there that wants to come on, I'll try to figure out how to do the... Um, we have to go through StreamYard so I can put up a link uh, so you guys can join on the panel. Check that out. I guess we went past two minutes of 420 there, huh, Rick R? I fucking missed it. Yeah, that's cool, man. I was going to show you guys. I got a lot of other cool shit around here. You guys got a second? You got a second? Let me check. Let me show you. Bags of weed, of course. Uh... Right on this, this is uh, it's swapping out for a puff coat, yeah, bro. Well, fucking vape it's for flowers, you know. This thing is packaged really nice. Let me tell you, you see this little fucking bam, bam, bam. Look at that. It's the fucking uh, the Valkyrie flower vape pen. Boom. Put your shit in that chamber. Right? Is that a little top on it? I think it's kind of like magnetic in a sense. Yeah, it is magnetic. Boom. Drop it in there. Let's see. Turn it on. Has temp. You can set your temps. Yeah. Dry herb. Yep. Yeah, perfectly. I got this on uh, Grass City. Grass City is like a... Shop online, you know, you can go pick up things. I got this in a big bundle package. I, I bought a bundle that they put together. They called it the Fuck Me I'm Famous bundle because it was made by Famous. All the products were by Famous. As I learned, that's a brand. So this Valkyrie one, I think this is for the movie Valkyrie, actually. There's a Famous. That, that star is in Valkyrie. And then, oh, I got some other shit real quick right by me. That's, that's from them. Oh, that Drop some trays. Anyways, got this in that package too, man. By the way, guys, this is a big fucking rolling tray. 
This is a tray from like back in the days. Yeah. Back in my days. Yeah, I dropped two other trays. Let me show you. Laced with the trays. Elyon got that at the Emerald Cup. Got this one at the Emerald Cup too. Fucking sick. Alpine. I think Alpine was a clothing company. Meek Hemp Clothing. It was this big fucking 40th anniversary Cheech and Tron tray. Yeah, that was in that. That was in that. F me on famous back. And it was like a flash sale. They threw together probably about 12 good items. All ranging from $20 to I think the Valkyrie was they're trying to sell it for like $160. Yeah, that's hey, you got that too. Yo. Yeah. And uh so I got that Valkyrie. I got a Cheech and Chong um, bubbler. I got a Cheech and Chong vape pen out of that. Got the, the Valkyrie. Oh. The Cheech and Chong vape pen. Check that out. Got all these cool fucking things, man. Just stocked up. Just, just sitting here. This is the, you know, it was made by Famous. That's why they called it the Fuck Me I'm Famous. The fuck me, I'm famous. Yeah, I did um, make out some of that COVID cash went to this. Let me tell you, they had about five hundred dollars worth of product in a box for two hundred ten bucks, and I fucking I bit, I bit, and I bit hard, and I keep biting because they keep sending me fucking discounts, so I'll keep buying shit. This is a cool little bit, man. Just lost a key piece to it. Gotta have that. It was on the back of your pen to adjust. Yeah, two ten, and and the two biggest items that they gave that they sent me was one retail at like ninety, and another one retail at one forty. This this thing was like one forty or something. So automatically, or not that one. This one automatically between that two, man. It was a good deal. It was a fucking good deal, man. You know what I mean? But. So I thought I'd show you that. I got some other shit to show and fuck around. We could get a good crowd. That'd be cool. If not, I should just do little quick videos and then just start breaking all my shit out. Another Cheech and Chong product. I'll just show you real quick. We actually did a video on this. I, I did an unboxing of all these things and um, the, the video was kind of shoddy, not as clear as now. It's a dugout, fucking dugout, right? This thing is straight heavy steel, and then you just fucking boom, open it. You got your ba 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 boom. Yeah, if you order things online. If you're down for that kind of thing and they got inexpensive glass let me tell you the truth like this whole fucking video could be a promotion for them um once you start shopping for them here's a little trick you go into their lob into their uh whatever you're shopping and then go put some items into the cart and then once the items are in the cart leave them there and then they're gonna uh within like a day or two, they're gonna send you a discount code. They already have 20. I think you could get like 30% off. Actually, if you go there the first time, you're gonna get 30%. So imagine I bought that thing for 210 and I got 30% off. Because they're just they're just fucking down, man. They're good. But it's not like the highest quote, like most expensive glass, like the premier glass guys you're gonna get. This is a Hellboy thing. See more of that. Fuck me, I'm famous shit. Yeah. And uh, this is a cool grinder. It's got all types of stages. It's like four. One, two, three. It's got three stages. All those stages. I'm pretty sick. Uh, let me see. What can I show you that is? What? What? what can I show you over here? Oh. Check out this dab ring. 
if you're still here perfectly. I don't know if you're in the dabby. But anyways, this company right here, this is five mil glass, right? It's really thick. Look at you see the base? Um, the seam into here with the stem down. There's a huge percolator inside their drum. This 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 was originally probably I don't know, 65. Right now they're probably down to 49 bucks. It's fucking super thick, dude. Yo, Ganja Wizard, man. Thank you for coming in. Uh, how you doing, mate? <laughs> Not just showing off some shit. I'm actually just doing a test run with the Surface Pro. See how good I look. How good I look. Yeah, how good I should look. My shit all fucked up. But, uh, man, thanks you for... Yeah, it is thick. It is thick. It is thick. Now, I got a dirty piece right here. Guys, I washed it yesterday. It's already fucking dirty. But I didn't wash it today. Check it out. This is the Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg Pounds. There's another glass. This one, now, this one is an illusion because it does go in. But the outside of it's thick. You ever tilt it over? That, that fucking area is thick. This is five mil glass as well. And I got it on the same website. The way it was fucking made is ridiculous. Though. It's um, it's just really nice. And I haven't yet liked bongs in a long time. This is, I think, 12, 13, 11 inches, 12 inches. 12 inch bong, man. It's really nice, man. Ganja, how you doing, man? How's the weather? Hmm. Are we all good? We're all good in the hood. So, yeah, that was, I really like this Snoop Dogg Pounds one. It's really fucking solid as fuck. And then what's really cool about it is how it, it's, it's real, it's round at the bottom, but it starts to taper. When I was talking to Gigi about that, he says, yeah, his bongs, he, they're too wide. You can't hit. This one you can get, you can get in there, get a good seal. Yep. This is the box from Dopezilla. They come in a cool box. This is a Dopezilla box. Good company. Cool little fucking emblem. And you got that little guy, little gargoyle on there too. Yeah. Joint and bed, man. Be careful, dude. You smoking a joint and bed? That's all. That's all. Ain't no big thing. You ain't gonna fall asleep. I was watching some guy on the uh, YouTube the other day. He's in Jamaica. He runs an Airbnb. His name's Chucky. And uh, he's on a show by, um, what is that fucking show? Uh, backpacking with Simon. Anyways, I'm always sitting in bed fucking blazing the Jamaican dude. It's his property. He's just fucking, he's like, I lay in bed smoking a joint. And the fucking ash is like this big. And he's, he's just fucking horizontal. Just fucking, just, just, just. hey, man, you're going to, you might burn yourself. I see one people check in, one people check out. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys stopped by and gave me a thumbs. If you guys could, just fucking drop a comment real quick. Fucking algorithm shit. Let's try to get it together. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm glad I met all you guys. And I'm pretty sure I met all you guys through Gorilla Grower. Shout out Gorilla Grower, man. Who keeps me... He keeps me laced up. We're good people, so... I'm pretty happy about that. Man, I really want to get into this right here. This is a battery pack in here. Ah, we got a nice custom bomb I've had for 12 years. Fuck, yeah. You've had some good luck. You've had some good luck. Now, I've got some old bongs, but I never kept them in rotation. So, they might have made it due to the fact they're not even being used. Maybe. You know what I mean? So... Let's check this battery out. It's charging. The packaging on, you can tell on good products. Once you, once you come up with some good packaging, they spent money on the packaging too. And then a lot of people are going to say, well, they fucking charging you for that. Man, I've opened a lot of brand new things, man. If there's something about when you go into something that's packed really fucking nice with real good materials. And here's the key thing. If something's made in China, doesn't mean it's fucking shit. All right, I know some guy that does business in China for his own fucking reasons, and he has other friends that do that. And why do they go to China? Well, it's going to be cheaper for things, right? No. 
No, that's just because you paid for cheap parts. You paid for cheap materials, apparently, in China. You know, if you want fucking 10 pounds of cheap aluminum, you get it. And they're going to charge you. They don't charge you by how difficult this is. They charge you how many precious metals you put into it. How They weigh everything. They don't really go care a fuck about how it was made, from what I was told by a guy that does business in China. And he goes to do vape pens and other other different things. And if you buy cheap material and you're a company and you have it put together in China, it doesn't mean because they fucking weren't skilled. It's because you paid for crap. That was my rant for the day, guys. You get one. You get one. Yep. Ross Kitchen. All right. So now here we're talking, man. That's for sure. I'm good with yeah, Ross Kitchen is badass, man. I love fucking Ratty. Man, I love uh, Chanel and, uh, oh, what was the other sister? Oh, man. Yeah. And uh, fucking Matthew does a great job on that show. Yeah, you get what you pay for. That's for sure. Perfect. You get what the fuck you pay for, man. Ross Kitchen, dude. Man, it's such a good show, right? I like I like to watch Ross Kitchen. I'm a YouTube fucking watcher, man. Like the way I got into this literally is just because I got tired of watching TV and then started watching people's shows on YouTube, you know? And and yeah, and I love to see Jamaica. I love to see all the tropical shit with the nice cameras and um the progress of the channel, you know? You get to watch the progress of of uh the people that the people or person that's behind it take the good with the bad hopefully that'll be like right here i'll be one of those me me and ocho will be one of those guys just like everyone else he started from the bottom and made it to the middle yeah i don't need the top there's too many up there i've never been either but hey now that you've seen those shows, don't you think you'd go there? Like, don't you think you'd actually try, like, try to go to that one of those Airbnbs, you know, uh, Chucky or Sunrise Boss? You want your Sunrise Boss, Sunrise Kitchen, and and Ross Kitchen? Don't you think you would go there to just give it a shot? Like, if you ever made it there, you'd go like, all right, man, I gotta go do this like three day thing for sure. The tricky part is, was, would you do that three-day visit before you went to the nice hotel, or would you do the hotel, nice hotels first, and then go hang out at Ross Kitchen, or would you just say, all right, I'm just going to stay at the hotel, go visit Ross? I'd like to stay at Ross Kitchen. That's a, tr that's a trick. I'm, I'm Perfectly, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is some Airbnbs that are like kind of like televised, uh, not televised, yeah, this is shot on YouTube uh, in Jamaica. And it's the shows are cool, you know, but they don't, the people, you know, they don't have all the luxuries, but you could still visit Jamaica and be on some other level trip, you know what I mean? Dude, <coughs> perfectly, where are you? Where do you live? Because I'm going to have to say, we started from the bottom now, where the middle is here, remember the middle. Um, California's got to be good, right? Where's the best state laws for growing? You're looking to move into next year. Maybe Oklahoma. Oklahoma sounds like a, a wide open place. I've seen some um business type people leaving California as far as what they're saying on YouTube and they're going to um you know they're going out there to fucking Oklahoma where it's like to get a whole license even is like really really cheap it's like five hundred dollars I could be wrong where over here is like five hundred thousand or some shit and then some some counties will stall you out and you could be in limbo for a couple years I've learned that too. It's all through YouTube. I learned all this. You know, you just go into 
I don't know, you guys watching Future Cannabis Project, if you guys aren't subscribed to Future Cannabis Pro Project, go do it. Because that, they had a good one on today with the guy Bodhi C, uh, Green, Green Bodhi. I, I highly suggest you guys go check out Future Cannabis Project. And um, I don't think you guys would be disappointed. And, and if you already know about it, um, Ganja Wizard, we got six, limited six per household. So, perfectly, where are you? Yo, you're said Florida. Yeah, let's see that. Some people from, yeah. A lot of people are leaving California. It's crazy. and But a lot of people are coming to California because I work in the construction field and um, there's been a lot of houses being built. And the people that fucking move into those houses aren't from here. They're coming from somewhere else with some other money because they can afford it. Because out here is sunshine dollars. And I'm sure perfectly you, you, you probably get that. There's sunshine, sunshine, you know, good weather. Yeah. The New Yorkers, they come down, huh? Infiltrate. <laughs> <coughs> what else do I got back here? Oh, man. Dude, I, mean, I haven't even smoked out of this one. Now, check it out. Here's another one. Snoop Dogg Pounds. I should have just put Grass City fucking Snoop Dogg Pounds. This is Snoop Dogg Pounds, too. This is a Snoop Dogg Pounds bong. Yeah, it's all sunshine dollars, man. You got to pay the price to live nice. To live nice, bro. Um, this one, man, I need to get into. This is the light shit. This is the light shit. This one right here. I like this one. Because before I was into this bong that I got, it's a bubbler. What is this fucking bubbler? So fucking sick. This bubbler right here. Six pounds. Yeah, one pound per plant. What's up, Roz and Smoke? How you doing, my man? I'm B. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, this right here, man, is... uh. I'm, I'm already selling for 100000 dude. That's good. Check it out. I was fucking down with bubblers. I've been smoking a lot of bubblers, but once I got that couple of these water pipes from there, this one is sick too. And this is like three mil glass, but that came in that uh, perfectly. This came in that big bundle I bought. The famous, famous, fuck me, I'm famous bundle. This is Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. And it's stout. It's stout. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to. I don't fucking fuck up and have that thing. Yo, what's up, GG? The gorilla grower. I'm going through a little pack of shit that I've got. It's old, man. None of this is new. But I got goods, GG. I got there little different things going on. Little things. Yeah, man. Smoke. Cheers. This is the Olive Branch channel. We get it all. We want to we want to walk, uh, uh, welcome people through and Budsville, Main Main Two. What's up, man? Trash talking aloud only by Budsville. That's what I heard. It's nothing. It's nothing personal, man. I'm just fucking. I someone is trying to say you that they <laughs> chuck trash, but I think it's all bullshit. Check it out, this fucking man. Uh. Right here is the, the Valkyrie. Boom. I'm going to go in reverse. I know fucking uh, not everyone's seen it. It's for smoking flowers. But bam. I'm going to take it out. Vaping. Bam. Let's turn it on. 91 degrees. Unused. There's some shit that I got in the background. You guys, you know. What I was doing is just testing out this new laptop. Ocho's not around, and I'm sending an APB 
out for Ocho. Ocho, where are you at? If you guys see him, could you guys please tell him to give me a call? We're looking for the other part of Elevated. I know it gets confused because we're both named Ed, right? Because we're both fucking named after the same person, which is my grandpa. And he's my cousin, so fucking th you guys don't trip. We're all we're, we're fucking Ed, and so is fucking Gorilla Grower. He's Ed too. Triple Ed. You know? But I was just out here fucking around. I'm glad to see that I'm I've got about six fucking dudes up here. Hold on, I gotta answer this real quick. Yo. I am. Where are you? You need a ride home. All right. I'll give I'll, I'll go I'll go pick you up. All right, bye. Yo guys, I got to cut it short. My wife uh she's sleeping cuz she got off work. And uh, she gets off at 1.30 over here. She's probably passed out by now. But I got to go pick up. It, it's Ocho, LOL. Man, we're looking for Ocho. Uh, but anyways, I got to go take a quick fucking. Uh, I got to go. I want to go pick up my daughter, man. And uh, I will catch up with you guys. It's fucking awesome that you came through. Budsville and Ganja Wizard and Gorilla Grower. Perfectly imperfected. Um, I don't know, I don't want to make sure. Rosin Smoke, thank you for coming. Uh, we also had Rick R. out there in um, New Mexico. Perfectly out in Florida. Ganja out in the UK. Rosin, somewhere in the Keys. <laughs> you know, Budsville? Where you at, Budsville? USA? Yeah, right on. Hey, looks like this laptop's working. Give me a thumbs up, man. And uh, if you guys could find Ocho, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I'm fucking around. And uh, once I figure shit out with the stream yard, because he has the stream yard, uh, he's got the stream yard uh, code, then I could fucking uh, get a little panel up here and we could do business that way. We, we stay busy. We stay cooking, y'all. All right. We'll catch you later, homeboys. We're on. Oh. Oh, wait. We're up.